they know something's up. Whenever we have all their food and everything by the door, they know something's up. It is time guys to do another cross country road trip. This time inside the Ram Rebel from Los Angeles, California back to Buffalo, New York. We have a thing for just doing cross country road trips and uh, yeah, we're about to take one right now. So I'm bringing you guys along with us for the ride. This time it's gonna be me, my wife, the two dogs, but this is probably the heaviest we've ever been because we we're planning on being there for like a while for probably about a month or so. So we're bringing a lot of stuff with us. So this is the heaviest I think we've ever been, the most packed we've ever been. Um, so yeah, so this should be a fun trip down over 2,500 miles in I don't know how many days. So normally whenever we do these trips, we usually do them inside a straight shot, no stopping. So we usually get it done in two days. This time we don't have to rush as much so we can take a little bit more time. I'm hoping that uh, we can still get it done probably two days. We'll see how things go. We might take a little bit longer, but we're bringing you guys along with us for the ride. This time is gonna be all about comfort. Every single time we've done it before, it's been more about speed. So without further ado, let's finish packing up, get on the road. I'm trying to get on the road by 8 p.m. tonight so we can drive all through the night and the next day. So we'll see how that goes. But without further ado, let's finish up. Let's get on the road, let's go. Not bad. Everything's right to shred it down. We got for the doggies, this whole area, doggy window, doggy window. Everything's strapped down. We have the doggy step stool and extra fan right there for them as well. And we'll have their water and food and everything back here too. So not bad, not a bad setup for them. And well, yeah, everything in these topes actually fit great. Love it. We ran into so much traffic coming through up towards the Vegas area. Man, it's like so much traffic, so that really slowed us down. We've already been driving for a while and like we're not even at Vegas yet, but that kind of sucks. We just stopped here just to get gas and to just kind of chill for one second. So we're gonna hit back. We're gonna be getting back on the road, but man, that kind of sucked. So the first leg of the trip had a small little hiccup. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be bad. There was a lot of just like road work that was going on, so that was like the big thing. So, but I, I think we'll be good getting out of here and keep going through, so let's keep going. We're in Utah. Uh, inter interesting, interesting place. You gotta love it. We literally just stopped at a Home Depot. Some guy pulled up in like ATV, went inside Home Depot, just off of the ATV. You gotta love it. All right, we're gonna stop get some Starbucks. The traffic was kind of bad last night, so we're hoping that we're gonna hit good traffic today. We just, we're just going through construction zones, so hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, so far I'm averaging 14.1 miles per gallon because of going up and down the elevation. At first it was like 17.7, like I think it was. But then as soon as we start hitting the mountains, the elevation and everything, it made it drop. So we're still chugging along. So we've got 31 more hours, but we've been going, it's showing about 10 hours, but 
of that time we were just idling so you know it's not 100 accurate all right let's go Okay, update. We are just outside of Denver. We're like 100 miles outside of Denver. Oh man, it's been a slow and steady pace, but it is what it is. I took a nice nap in this back. Yo, like having this back, this blow up mattress has been great. Stopped at the Walmart for a second. We're gonna be getting back on the road. Utah was absolutely beautiful. Colorado, beautiful as well. It really is just amazing seeing the different states, so. We're trucking along. We'll see what we're gonna do for tonight. If we're gonna push all the way through the entire night or if we're gonna stop, I don't know. Like I said before, we've done it where we haven't stopped. Literally, like we just kept driving back and forth. We kept swapping. I don't know if I wanna do that this time. We're gonna probably try and take it slower, but we'll see how we're feeling. If we're feeling good, we will keep pushing. If not, we'll, you know, we will, stop i think really though that first leg of the trip when we had to just go through so much of construction that slowed us down that kind of put a damper on things so we'll see how things keep going as it progresses but yeah we still have it's like just over 24 hours left of driving so still got a bit of driving left We got about 15 more hours left to drive. I don't even know where we are. Headed towards Chicago. All right, quick update. We are in Iowa. We are close to Illinois, then Indiana, then Ohio, then Pennsylvania, then New York, but those states are much smaller than everything else. So it is, we're just kind of hanging out at this campsite for a second. We're gonna get back on the road. We're definitely tired, but we can make it there tonight if we hustle. So we're gonna try to make it. Um, we're gonna switch drivers once again, just let the dogs out, let them use the bathroom, walk them at this rest stop, and then uh, yeah, 
<sighs> we're getting back on the road, but uh, so far, so good, nothing too crazy, so we're gonna get, get going. Of Chicago right now we're making our way slowly we're getting there uh, we're definitely tired but like not like to the point of exhaustion I was funny I was just talking to my parents and I was saying like for most people this point would be a road trip by itself if someone had to do 10 hours they would consider that to be a pretty decent road trip but like right now I'm like okay cool only 10 hours left like we can get it done within the day. I think just mentally when you see that, it's like, oh yeah, we can we can do it. We just gotta just push through. So we're gonna keep driving through. Um, so if we if everything works out right, we'll get there. If we don't stop at all, we'll we'll get there at like 10 o'clock at night. So it's gonna be obviously later. So I'm gonna I'm assuming probably 11, maybe 11:30, closer to midnight. So we'll see. It's like at the point where it's like we could stop, but like why when we're this close so we're gonna probably keep trucking along why stop while we're this close also traffic hasn't been bad there's definitely a lot of police out though it's memorial memorial day weekend so makes sense but there's been a lot of police out Give them a treat though. This is just like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But I loved joining a story. That's why I got kind of. Honestly, I liked the whole family and getting away from home because I felt like I had a fresh. Nice. So, what about like. Did you find it easier well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Like, this yeah. is when I did. Yeah. So, like, you kind of like had your schedule of who you met with and where. And or was it calculus? Bad, but entire freaking essay, and I'm like, there's no answer. So, update we gave up going the no tow route we usually do, but it was gonna save us about like an hour and a half. So, we decided to jump on the toll road. We're on the 90 now. So, we went to rural Indiana um, for a lot of it, and then after that we were like screw it we're gonna jump on the 90 so we're on the 90 gonna we're still like five ish hours out a little bit more than that but we're making our way I think it's supposed to be this the city of good neighbors, to tell you the truth. Okay. We're back. It's late at night, but we made it back. It only took us mm, 40 hours of driving, 39 hours. But that, yeah, but that time is not 100% correct. There was some idling time there too. Wow, it's kind of hot outside. I gotta, I gotta roll these windows down. Okay, cool. So guys, we made it here. It was a fun drive. At the end of it, we were getting tired though, just to be totally honest with you. So we did wind up just taking the toll routes at the very end. So we did take the toll routes through New York and I think like Pennsylvania and stuff like that. So it saved us like 
I want to say like almost two hours worth of the last leg of the trip, but we were just getting tired. Um, so yeah, we're back in Buffalo. We've been here for a couple of days. It's been great. I've just been taking the last couple of days to just kind of chill, spend time with the family and everything like that. We're going to have been a lot more videos that we're back here. I can finally do a video on the Smart Cat Bevo, the lift kit, and everything else that we've been doing with the vehicle, and just a couple more updates, stuff like that. So I'm going to be having you know a couple more bangers that are going to be coming out pretty soon so i'm excited about that but the car or the truck did well on the drive we averaged we actually averaged it was just around 17.9 i want to say miles per gallon so once we got out of the hills and everything like that in the mountain range the miles per gallon it did creep back up and that's with us being fully loaded had an awning on lifted 35s and we still got that so that's actually pretty good for me i'm i'm excited about that uh i do i will say i love the range on this thing the fuel tank is bigger so we can go further so that did save us time by just not having to stop as much um the only negative side was it did take us longer to get the dogs in and out of the back versus the jeep wrangler because of this uh the doggy like stairs that we had that did take a little bit longer but it wasn't too bad but overall i mean the trip was great so the first like real cross country road trip in this thing it did well i'm really happy with it uh the setup was nice it was comfortable we were able to drive and stay relatively comfortable for a very long time so i'm excited about that but guys if you want to see my last video when, when we were prepping getting this thing ready for the road trip and we took a small road trip to vegas check this video out right here it was really interesting check this video out we'll see you in the next one